I'm so excited that you are here right now. I want to introduce you to the most amazing scapular stability protocol. My name is Tanya Thompson. I have 22 years of research behind this work where we looked at what is working when we're training our clients to get that perfect scapular glide and which programs are not as successful. We went and did a lot of EMG testing. I've worked with professional sportsmen and women. I've worked with Cirque du Soleil performers and the results that I've achieved is absolutely amazing every single time. You're going to learn the full shoulder stability protocol right from the beginning all the way to the end where we start with our clients when they know absolutely nothing about scapular glide and where we take them all the way to the end where they are physically stronger in shoulder stability. We're going to be using the band, but not in the way that you think we are. We're definitely not just going to be doing rotator cuff. That comes right at the end of the program. We're definitely going to be using the big ball. You can't believe how effective this ball can be for shoulder stability, but not just by doing planks. We're going to be using the small ball, but this focus is going to be on the thoracic spine, the brace triangle, and how important that position is for that perfect scapular glide. We're definitely going to be using the foam roller because this is a fantastic tool to use when you're trying to wake up that serratus anterior. And throughout this process, we're also going to be working with weights because we actually want to get the shoulder to be physically stronger for the functional movements that we need it to perform. If you're thinking of the process that you're trying to use to get your clients to that final result and you're just struggling, you're not... 100% sure of what the scapula is doing now and why, we're going to delve into that. We're going to look at the shoulder mechanics and the biomechanics of the shoulder while it's moving. We're going to look at the anatomy of the shoulder. We're going to look at all the different compensations that occur and the why behind those shoulder compensations. And if you're not 100% happy with the course, then you just let me know and I'll give you all your money back. You are not going to learn this work anywhere else. This is my absolute passion. This is my life's work. And if I tell you I'm going to teach you how to teach it, how to use your voice, exactly how to be hands-on, you will not be disappointed. I will also be teaching this on a person so you get to see it live. You get to learn what the cues were. What did she do when she wanted that client to release in the shoulder? We're looking at different personality types and how that affects a shoulder rehabilitation program. And then the brand new protocol that's going to be in this protocol that I've never taught before is that functional mobility post-injury. How to get your clients back to their range without that anxiety of having to move their arm. So if you are ready to delve into shoulder work like you have never done before, click down below and let's get started.